Okay, so from where we left off on the previous video, um, we've got all the supports in place, uh, all the x-axis in, and then obviously the Indus bearings on uh, the rails ready. So in this video now, what we're going to do is start assembling actually the wiring harness and some of the motors and the belts. So the wiring harness, which we previously uh, prepared in the other video, we're going to grab the end and what we need to be doing is we need to feed this through this part here but we need to first of all ensure that we wrap that underneath the print table so we've got that part sitting ready to sit on top like that so we're just going to make sure that's underneath then we're going to pass that through the top and in through that way. And then the wires which I've previously put, I'm going to uh, put through to be the X end stop. I'm going to thread them once through, like so. And the other two wires I'm going to leave ready for the X motor itself. So what I can do now is just position that down, grab the belt clamp. I've already got a screw set in there ready. Uh, and I just need to be clicking that into place, getting that to lock onto the last link. That's what the little lip is there for in the clamp. Just tighten that up into position. And so that's gonna come through onto that way. So that's just gonna pass underneath. And what I need to do now is just get that nicely lined up bring this part of the energy chain all the way down to the end so it's touching the actual X rod holder and then I've already got two holes drilled ready just two self tapping screws just to hold that into position And so now that is the first part of the energy chain wiring in place. You can see there as that comes up and down, how that energy chain is going to actually move. Okay, you can just leave that inside for the moment. Next, we're going to move on to now the motor itself. So using my X motor. Now on this, I've got the 22 GT2 pulley wheel already set on, and I've made sure that that is actually set so it's level. Um, you can see the way around I've got it. This is to get make sure that when it goes into position, this is in line. So I'm gonna have that with the wiring pointing upwards, so when it's flipped the right way around, it's actually downwards. So just slot that into place. And at this point here, I'm going to need four of the 16 mil uh, M3 bolts to put that into position. So I'll just put that on there.
So there's the X motor in play, and like I say, with that dead level, that should now be nice in line, ready for me to put the belt itself on. Now, uh, the belt is a GT2 belt. This belt has now been cut to a length of 950 millimeters. And then what we've done is we've folded over approximately 15 millimeters, and then we put a cable tie around it to lock it into place. So we've actually got the teeth themselves against each other and then a small black cable tie to lock it against, uh, against it to approximately 950 millimeters. And then we've measured out uh, about 15 millimeters, folded it over and put a cable tie on it. What we need to do now is just grab one of the uh, belt tensioners, just put that through the belt tensioner, just make sure that's nicely in position. And then we're gonna do the same on the opposite side. So we're gonna measure out approximately 30, double of what I was. Actually, I'm gonna take that up to 35 for the moment. Yep, so that's at 35. So I'll just grab another. I thought I've got the measurement right when I says to cut it at 950 and fold it over. Obviously some error there in my ways in, in the measurements that I've given, but at least by doing this method, I'm only wasting a cable tie and not actually cutting the length of G2 belt, G2 belt too short, wasting that. So it's better to start off long and then obviously work it, uh, work it round that way uh, than the opposite and start wasting the belt. So I'm just going to make sure I've got that all the right way round again. Just hold that with my finger around right where it goes and just check that again now. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that position. That will give me a nice uh, amount of just tensioning on there. So now I can fold that or push that in Grab my 18 mil threaded bolt, get that to go through the loop. Screw that into position, test that's nice and tight, that's fine. Obviously now the belt is all nicely the right way around. So that's how that's gonna sit. And now I can grab my 30 millimeter bolt and push that through. Get camera shot on that. And you can see there, that's now nicely tensioning off. And we've got the movement ready on that there. So at this point to just check all the aligning. That's fine, so that's my one of my first belts into place and say so nicely tensioned up. What I'm gonna do now is actually put on the motor mount itself. Oh, sorry, the motor mount, the, the um, print head itself. Slide that into position. bring that into line. Okay, so for that you were going to want two of the 30 millimeter ones and two of the 25 millimeter ones. And the 30 millimeter ones go towards the back and the 25 millimeter ones go towards the front. So I'll just put that in and screw that in.
Okay, so that's that now light, uh, locked into position. You see that sliding around and sliding along, sorry. And then we've got another 25 millimeter one that just goes into there and that helps now to provide some tension. Just to stiffen this up and remove any play out of that particular bear in there. So we just make some adjustments and just give it a wobble and that's fine. So you can see there now, we've got the print head nicely mounted, ready onto the motors. Oh, sorry, the print head ready to mount uh, all the accessories onto that. X motor into place and the uh, belt tensioner into place. So next we're gonna move on to putting the two motors on the rear here. This one's gonna have the dual motor, so we're doing away with the shaft and then I'll show you how we also mount the old uh, Y motor, mount it for a single motor. So next video is gonna be putting the two motors and same again, uh, putting on the uh, GT2 belt and the two belt tensioners, which are gonna pass through these holes here. Incidentally, when you printed these off, the hole, the hole wasn't there on the face uh, and that was all to aid on the printing of the face itself. So what you'll need to do is just drill from this side through with like a two, three millimeter drill, and then get a six millimeter dr a drill and just, you should be able to do it with your fingers by hand, just to uh, to drill out the face bit of plastic that's gonna be on there. The, like I said, the hole's already there, ready to accept the M3 nuts. It was just done that way in the STL, ready to make sure that that face could be printed nicer uh, in one motion. Okay, so as I say, next we're going to move on to the uh, to the motors, and I hope uh, you've enjoyed this episode of building the print table S series.